Hi, my name is Hari Krishna from Group D. I'm going to present the ADM project on uh, prediction of callback duration of unsatisfied customers for the next 60 days, 30 days and 7 days. The data we got is from a telecom firm which has maintained its databases in Oracle. These are the two data sets which we see in, on the screen. Uh, this is like subscriber info data set wherein it contains mobile numbers, customer type, subscriber type, lot many other customer information. This is of 6 million rows and the other data set is like CRM, uh, CRM record which has uh, call center data uh, recorded at each instance of the call. So this data is saved in the company's uh, Oracle database which is pulled into the local R server of the company using ODBC connect uh, package of R and later on we, using FTP connection we have downloaded the data into our local R server. The first data consists of tickets generated when the call record gen uh, generates. When the customer calls which is stored in the database. The other data source is subscriber info, which is a huge static database which are merged based on the subscriber number. So this is the local R uh, studio wherein I have loaded the data set which I have downloaded in CSV format into this data frame. In this it consists of a lot of multiple slip snippets. Basically, the data set is with, uh, from Jan 2017 to June 2017, which is a time frame of about six months. And uh, multiple steps were performed on this, like removing the unwanted columns and uh, indexing the sensitive information because of the GDPR rules and removing the NAs in all the columns and handling the dates to be converted and uh, all these are the derived columns which we have uh, which which were meaningful to our data model and these are all derived till till line number 320 so now we'll try to run this code While it's running, we will go through some of the slides which are meaningful to our model. So this is one of the correlation matrix which we got for a model which says that along the diagonal self correlation happens perfectly with positiveness because one being the positive and minus one being the negative. And we see some of the columns which has uh, a bit relationship, but then we, we didn't remove those columns because they were making a lot of sense in the variable importance for uh, for all the classifying classifier models which we have done. And so the, this correlation matrix was for numerics and this is for uh, categorical values. So in this, this is like Goodman tau values which are there in all these boxes. So, if the size of the size of the um, sorry shape of the model is a circle, it has least correlation or dependency between the two categoricals. If the shape is more of an eclipse, it has more correlation between those dependent variables independent variables and these are the stats which we got for 30 days uh, model so this means that if 91.64 is the accuracy of the model wherein uh, the matches of uh, true and false whether the customer calls to the call center are not respectively matched so a lot many other stats like Kappa statistics, sensitivity and specificity are also mentioned here along with the confusion matrix. So basic depiction of Kappa statistic is high for high in random forest compared to other two models, which shows the actual random occurrence uh, 
is also high as compared to other modules. So we chose random forest in this case. So while the code is running, so now the code has successfully completed and uh, we'll be running a random forest model. As we see, a random forest for 30 days has predicted as 91% accuracy and this is the confusion matrix. These are the sensitivity and specificity of the values. Thank you for watching the video.